So Brad and I, we're back to uh, what I'm calling the bootlegger's hideout. Very first target. A little pin or something there. Oh, it looks like a tack. Yeah. Probably some sort of like a, I don't know, leather tack or something. Wanna lick? <laughs> oh, what? All right, so see else we can get. I got a, I got it sounds like an Indian head pending over here. Somewhere. Back till I got the camera on. Maybe we should live dig this. It's kind of booming though. But we got a solid 20. And it's real solid. Oh. You know what? I think it's like a, it's like a, almost like a little gear part or something. I don't know if that's a watch or a, off a toy. What is that guys? Let me know. Look what I got right on top. What's that, like an old clock? Yeah, but... Only too short. Well, that is definitely what my last little piece came off of. That is a cool relic. I don't know what that is. For sure. It's got to be a clock, right? Okay, so it looks like it got me a little button. Let's see what it says. <laughs> it says Uncle Sam. It's raining today, so. Interesting. So anyways, if you didn't see the last episode, this is kind of a secret spot where we're thinking they might have used to done hard cider during Prohibition and such, so. Anyways, there's a full explanation in the last episode. I highly recommend checking that out, but we're up here today to uh, see what else we can get. What you got there, man? Treasure. <laughs> Cup or a candle holder or something with a little finger ring. Well, the cool thing is that was definitely somebody's personal item. Yeah, long time ago. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know either. I mean, it looked like it had something kind of giving pressure up in the other end. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We're good at the I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So look at this, I got a tin can that's actually got some writing on it. Jeez, that never happens to me. Huh. I think I see the word smoke. I'll try to clean that up and give you guys a look. Well, I'm not going to be able to clean it up too much out here, but uh... I think it's for sure a tobacco can. Gunner likes it. Look at that, guys. That's a fancy looking clip. Still got a lot of the plating on there. What does that say? Velvet grip, I think. Neat. Okay, I have an amazing tone here coming up like a silver half dollar or something. I'm going to take a wide berth. I don't want to nick it if it's something good. And maybe it's just a big brass buckle or something, but wow. <laughs> well, it's big. It's brass. 
ox knob. Now, that's got to be like bed post. Bed post, cane top, maybe. Yeah, maybe a cane top or a bed post. I like ox knob better. So look, a piece of wood came out of it. <laughs> so it was definitely on something wood. <laughs> Not an ox. Not an ox knob, Brad. <laughs> Teen on an ox, I see something around. Looks like an old button. See if I can clean that up. Okay, I've actually dug one of these in an episode this spring. That's like a railroad or a you know, like a locomotive engine, and it's just kind of facing this way. You can see that. Okay, I think I see the edge of a big old buckle. See that? Oh yeah, it is a big old buckle. Nice. Yeah, lots of plating still on that one. All right. Man, I just really would like a coin out of here. That'd be so cool. I've dug so many buckles and buttons in the last two hunts. Come on, coin. Awesome. I just got an old pocket knife. But what's cool about this is, you know, the more you dig, the more you know. And there is a little piece in the episode where I got the seeded dime where... I found this little spinny thing, and it was just on like a little square of brass. But now I know what it came off of. It came off of this pocket knife. Looks like the blade was open when it went in there. Way cool. Yeah, something around down there. Probably junk. Whoa. No way. Holy cow. That is awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's probably plated, but I think it's a locket. A gold locket. Look at that. Let me clean this sucker up and I'll get back to you. Okay, well that's for sure going to be gold plated, but... You know, for the middle of the woods, that's a pretty cool jewelry find. You see, there's like a little moon and a star. It's got like little fake jewels in them. And I don't know if I'll ever get this open, but it's also definitely a locket. So, pretty cool. Finding some stuff. Okay, so I got this locket open. Not really anything in it. Kind of a letdown, but it is in nice shape for what it is. Well, what do we have here? What is that? Whoa. What is that? That is crazy. You guys seeing this? Yeah, I don't know what that is. So I think I figured out what this item is with the help of a bunch of other metal detectorists. It seems to be an orchard heater. 
and I guess they would put them in the orchard when they thought there was going to be a hard frost and that would save the blooms from freezing thus making it so they would still have their crop so it only makes sense that if you had these apple trees as a business you would go to that extreme to make sure that they bore fruit because it couldn't have been cheap you know to fuel all those up and keep them running for maybe days on end so just adds to the theory i think that this is a hard cider bootlegger spot hey brad got himself a spoon and in fact i think i dug that exact same spoon and then put it back for me <laughs> no a different site oh yeah i just put one just like that through electrolysis huh. so that's a big old piece of horse tack i guess that's pretty cool <laughs> okay got another button this one says Cones Boss. Looks like it's a some sort of like a denim button. Nice. I just can't believe how much stuff there is at this site. So there's another Cones Boss button. And that was not far from the last one. Okay. You got me a clip. How cool is that? And there is just a lot of stuff around here. And I'll show you here in a second, but I think I might have found a cellar hole. I didn't think there was one here. Looks like it was hidden. <laughs> There's another boss cone button, or cones boss. I was right next to the clip. Brad's been in a different area. He said he just dug a zillion spoons in a cup. So I'll have to show you those here in a little bit. <laughs> so there were two of those cones boss buttons in that same hole. Man, the other day I was here, that was all Monarch of the West buttons. Now they're mostly these cones bosses. Man, I'm, I'm hitting the jackpot in this little spot. There's a clip. All right, so we got two clips and two buttons out of this little spot so far. Another Cones Boss button. All right, I lied on that last one. It actually says Oak Brand. I guess I just assumed. Looks like I got me a big old axe or something. That's a weird end. I'm not really sure how that works. I guess this is the cellar hole. Boy, this is hidden. Big old hole right here. See a little bit of lumber in it? They hid the cellar back behind this wall of trees right here. That's why I didn't find it. I think that might be where they stored the barrels of the hard cider because it had to be underground for one year in order to ferment. Never fails. Whoa, look at that harmonica reed. That thing's massive. What the heck? I think I just got me a pocket watch cover. Okay, so Brad and I weren't always together. So I did not get all his stuff. He got a bunch of horseshoes and some other cool iron. But dude, look at the spoons that he pulled. That's all out of one area. And then he got this sweet cup to go with it. Like, wow, 13 spoons, lucky 13, awesome. <laughs>